Here is how to build a checkbox that will toggle when you press it in Adobe Captivate. Drag the image of the unchecked box to your canvas. Label the object with something more meaningful than image underscore one. Click on State View to add the additional checked state. Click on New State and give the state a name like Checked. Click OK. To change the appearance of the clicked state, click on the button that represents the image in your Properties Inspector. Click on Import and navigate to where you have the other image of the checked box. Select it and click Open. Click on Exit State. Click on the Project drop-down menu and select Variables. Click on Add New and then give your new variable a name. I like to start my variables with an underscore. Assign it an initial value of zero. Press Save and then Close. Click the Project drop-down menu and select Advanced Actions. Give your Advanced Action a name. I usually name it similarly to the variable, but never the same exactly. Select the option for Conditional tab. Double-click the first line of the IF section and have it check if your variable is equal to the literal value of zero. Double-click the first line of the Action section and assign your variable the value of 1. Next, change the state of your button to the checked state you set up earlier. Hold down your Control or Command key and select the first line so both actions are selected. Then press the Copy icon in the toolbar just above. Click on the Else section to add what happens when your user variable is not equal to zero, in other words when you have already clicked on your checkbox. Click on the first line and press the Paste icon in the toolbar. Change the value you are assigning to your user variable from 1 to 0, then change the state of your checkbox image button back to normal. Click on Save as Action and click on OK. You can now close the Advanced Action window. Select Use as Button so your multi-state image button will actually perform as a button. Under the Actions tab, change the action to Execute Advanced Action and make sure your newly created Advanced Action is selected. I like to select the hand cursor and disable click sound for buttons I build in Adobe Captivate, but this is optional. One final step I like to do with any type of toggle button is to delete the rollover and down states since they will interfere with the appearance of your button when checked. Click on Preview in your toolbar and select Preview in HTML5 to make sure your new checkbox toggle works as expected. Perfect. If you thought this video was helpful, please like and share it with your colleagues. If you need help with Adobe Captivate, hire Paul for one-on-one -on -one instruction. Paul's goal is to focus on lessons based on your specific needs. Visit his website at CaptivateTeacher.com. And don't forget to subscribe to his YouTube channel.